So, good evening and welcome to another uh, edition of uh, Sit Chat, a program which uh, is done every Thursday at 8.30. Uh, trying to introduce uh, one of our uh, members or somebody uh, with some uh, background in the Sit community with uh, uh, wisdom who can share uh, with two objectives. One is to make them visible to the community so that their uh, uh, expertise and wisdom gets uh, visible. And second is also to uh, ensure that uh, we understand from the community side, what way we can help that uh, particular person succeed better than what they're already doing today. Uh, let me uh, just share a couple of uh, slides. Uh, the the idea was to do this uh, when we started uh, SIT last year uh, as, a, as a group. Of course, it's something which is much, much more older than uh, me. And uh, at that point, my idea was to really see if we can get uh, this visibility organized for people. And therefore, I volunteered to start the uh, sit chat and uh, now it is quite uh, one year almost it's more than a year old uh, every tuesday i've been fortunate enough in uh, being able to conduct this program every tuesday at uh, 8 30 uh, of course with the help of others too like our uh, sagar uh, who has uh, been uh, my standby whenever i've not been able to participate uh, thanks a lot sagar for that uh, otherwise we've been doing it for the last uh, almost about uh, 60 weeks uh, consistently every week, every Thursday at uh, 8.30 on some topic or the other. Topics generally relating to business, relating to a uh, startup, uh, which could uh, be business planning, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, like today what we're talking about, some manufacturing uh, technology, etc. And uh, of course, whatever uh, we uh, discuss here is something which is uh, uh, presented by people who have uh, achieved the, their respective uh, goals and uh, milestones therefore uh, you could definitely you get insights and use these insights for your uh, organization or your life however we suggest that you consult your trusted advisors and professionals to make sure that you are having a good handholding during the implementation process uh, today's topic uh, is on <clears throat> vision systems for automated automatic inspection using uh, uh, AI or artificial intelligence, and this would be presented by uh, one of our uh, members whom I met recently in uh, Postpol uh, about two weeks back, uh, who hails from Bangalore, has a business in Bangalore, and uh, is really helping companies uh, implement this technology. Uh, so welcome, uh, Sham, uh, for this uh, chat. And before I hand over to you, a very quick introduction about me. My name is Dinakar. Uh, I have been uh, uh, mentoring and helping companies grow and become more profitable uh, for the last 12 odd years. And earlier to this, I was working with Bosch for 26 years. With that, over to you, Sham. We will listen to you very carefully and attentively and uh, to understand what way we can help you. Please take over. Thank you so much, Dinakar. You have created a wonderful platform for, uh, you know, the SIT community to, uh, you know, to explore and to also to expand. And, uh, um, you know, it, it's it's the first time that I'm coming on a, on a sit chat. So I've not, not attended the previous session. So, so in a way, I don't know how this entire thing goes. But of course, you have given me tips and guidelines as to how the whole thing should, should go. So I'll just uh, begin with uh, presenting my Wait. company, what we do. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe you can start introducing yourself, you know, to, for everybody to get yeah. to know you better. Yeah. Got it, got it. So, uh, my name is Sham Prasad. I'm an electrical engineer. Uh, started my career in industrial automation solutions. Uh, coincidentally with the Bosch in 94, 95, I was an engineering trainee and then later on moved on from, uh, from Bosch. So, that's where I learned the tricks for the trade of the industrial automation. I worked for almost about a year in uh, machine building division. Later on, moved on to other opportunities. Um, then uh, subsequently, I uh, pursued my career in Siemens and industrial automation. Then um, that was in Bombay for, for a couple of years. Then later on, moved to Africa to execute uh, industrial automation projects for an African multinational company. So where I executed projects uh, for about, okay, about six to eight years and uh, various uh, African countries setting up factories and automation solutions. Then from 2007 uh, onwards, uh, you know, I came back to India 
and uh, started this company, Satvik Solutions. So, so that's a brief background about uh, my uh, you know, career as an electrical engineer and uh, industrial automation solutions expert. A little bit about uh, you know where I come from. I'm basically from Bangalore, born and brought up in Bangalore. Um, currently, I stay in Rajarajeshwar Nagar. I have my wife is a dentist, practicing dentist. I have two kids, uh, a son and a daughter. Son is just got into engineering, and my daughter is studying in eighth, ninth standard now. So that's a brief background about my family. Now I'll just uh, quickly run through about my company, Sathvik Solutions Private Limited. Let me pull up the presentation. Is my screen visible to all? Yes, very much. Yeah. Please go on. Okay. Okay, thank you. So, Sattvik Solutions Private Limited, uh, we are a company um, who specialize in offering inspection automation solutions using computer vision and uh, blended with AI and ML solutions. So we predominantly op offer these solutions for the manufacturing sector. So, um, who we are? As I told you, we are an industrial automation solutions company. What we do is that we are dedicated to addressing contemporary challenges in the manufacturing sector through the implementation of machine vision technologies blended with AI and ML tools. And what does our uh, customer get? They get enhanced reliability and traceability in the manufacturing process, significant increase in uh, their customer confidence leading to increase customer base, zero defect delivery, and by that, you know, increased profitability. So that's that's what we, we do. And uh, what we have four areas of expertise which we have uh, built over the last 10 years. So one is we have a machine vision software development team. We have in-house engineers of about six engineers who, who dedicatedly work on uh, uh, identifying different vision algorithms for defect detection, dimension inspection, code reading solutions. We also work on 3D vision, which will be uh, used for uh, uh, robotic guidance. We also uh, are, you know, this software team is also uh, have the expertise of integrating different, uh, you know, machine vision solutions in the sense. Um, Today, it's all the solution is more about integration than developing something on your own. So we we also integrate third party tools into our solutions. Probably you know uh, integrating Google Google Analytics or Google AI and so that so on and so forth. And uh, we have a dedicated machine design team who which works on uh, designing machines, designing uh, mechanical fixtures, solutions, and other things that that helps. Uh, you know, machine vision to perform at its peak. Then uh, we have a robotics team that works on uh, uh, robots for handling for pro handling products, and it can be uh, as, as simple as a SCARA robot or an articulated robot or a gantry robot. So we do uh, we do perform pick and place solutions or in assembly automation. We do machine tending. We do three D bin picking. And to blend all these three things together, we have a controls engineering team, which works on uh, uh, integrating PLCs, motion control systems, drives and uh, pneumatic controls. So basically you need a blend of all these four expertise uh, to offer a turnkey solutions to, to address a particular problem for our manufacturing companies. So I will, I'm proud to say that we are the only company uh, who are operating in the machine vision solutions, which has all of these four expertise under one roof. So that's our uh, that's our strength, and that's 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 how we have been uh, able to deliver and take total ownership of the uh, solutions that we offer to our customers. The customer just comes with a problem statement, and they go back with solutions, uh, you know, designed and tailored for them. So that has been our expertise. And uh, 
the solutions that we we are currently dealing with broadly get classified into four different uh, segments. One is code reading solutions because nowadays every product that is uh, available in, in the market has got a code on top of it to identify its uh, uh, identify its unique uh, by its unique ID. So uh, code reading solutions becomes very integral part of the solutions in the manufacturing sector because right from the beginning of the product life cycle, uh, people start have to trace their the product journey uh, across different uh, processes. So applying a code and tracing them becomes very important. So that is where uh, we do, we come in. So we help customers to print uh, codes online and also track them, verify them and give them, give customers data back to them, uh, you know, for, for analytics and other usage with ERP and ME systems. Uh, so that is one of one uh, of the solutions that we operate. Then we perform dimension inspection on components. So any any component that needs to be uh, inspected for dimensional accuracies, we use uh, laser based technologies, two D vision technologies, and three D vision technologies to perform accurate controls of dimensions on products. Um, so that is uh, another area our solutions. Uh, that we offer then cosmetic defect or feature missing is another other area which we do which we perform inspection on the products here we um, detect uh, any anomalies on the surface of the product usually uh, aesthetic defects normally uh, no customer will buy a product which has got uh, any kind of an aesthetic defect on the product so uh, we inspect or we detect these anomalies in the production line and sort these products uh, from the good ones and make sure that the only good ones are delivered to the customer. So cosmetic defect detection or feature missing. When I say feature missing, in an assembly there might be missing parts. Uh, some bolt may be missing or some screw may be missing or some washer may be missing from an assembly. So our systems can detect them and alert uh, the operators to uh, to correct them, so uh, that's another area we work. And um, track and trace solutions is another thing which is ga gaining a lot of pop popularity of late. Um, initially, we started with pharmaceutical uh, companies. And pharmaceutical companies, it is it is mandatory that they they have a traceability system in place to trace the product right from its birth to its end delivery point. So um, that we were doing for the pharmaceutical companies, now more and more automotive and food and pharma companies are adopting these, these kind of solutions. So basically we uh, we track the product right from its first uh, point. Uh, and, and, you know, we give the data till it is, till it leaves the factory. So, uh, so basically that's what we, do in the track and trace solutions. Coming to applications of these solutions, we have these applications going to diversified uh, sectors. We are domain agnostic again. So in automotive and auto components uh, sector, we have so far done uh, several projects related to dimension check, cosmetic check, code reading, in process verification, final product verification, robotic pick and place, bin picking with 3D vision and assembly automation. In pharmaceuticals, we have done inspection systems that inspects blisters for uh, foreign uh, uh, tablet or a broken tablet or a chipped off tablet or a missing tablet. And uh, for cartoon inspection, we are verifying variable data that is printed on the, on the carton that is especially uh, with respect to uh, batch code, expiry date, uh, so on and so forth. Label check is also other thing which we do on the bottles. Packaging inspection is for checking the correctness of the packaging with respect to the count and the integrity of the products. Code print and verify, label print and verify. Again, are the standard systems where we do uh, variable data printing on the, on the, on the packaging. We have, uh, 
vial inspection systems and ampule ins inspection system that we have developed for um, the the vial and ampule uh, manufacturers. Um, so this is our standard offering that that has been we have we have delivered something like twenty plus lines across across India, and rubber stoppers and flip off aluminum seals. These are basically the packaging products that goes into aluminum. I mean, uh, vials and ampules. So these are those products. These are the products that we have done for the pharmaceutical companies. In the food and beverages companies, we have off late. We have become very active because so far and so so far we have we have just given a lot of proof of concepts. But now it has taken traction. Empty bottle inspection to check for cracks and uh, dents in a bottle. Filled bottle inspection to check for fill level, underfill, overfill, whether the cap is cap integrity is is perfect or not, and the seal check is perfect or not. So these are the things that we normally are offering for the food and beverages sector. Label orientation check is basically to check if the labels have been, that has been applied on the packaging is perfect and it, it is not skewed and you know it is aesthetically perfect. For electronic industry, we have delivered solutions to Intel and other companies where we, we do auto print and apply of uh, data labels for again traceability to identify uh, uh, you know the individual components or individual modules component assembly check we do on on populated pcbs to be seen to find out any any uh, component is missing and uh, we have uh, uh, the components electronic components that can be inspected uh, uh, for any defective component usually these electronic components comes in the form of uh, reels and tapes so we have a solution that we import from Taiwan to comp inspect these components at the rate of 4,000 components per minute. So that's, that's the speed at which we inspect for electronic components. We have delivered solutions for logistics and warehouse where we, we do auto sorting systems to sort packages based on their types and size and everything. So that we have, we have delivered it to um, e-commerce companies like Mintra and Flipkart. Uh, both in uh, Kolkata and Bangalore. So we do identification of the product and sorting them based on the uh, based on the product ident identification. For a company like Bevco, we did uh, pin code based sorting of packages. So depending on the pin code, uh, the the packages would get sorted into the respective bins automatically, so that the courier company can easily pick up those parcels and or the packages and take to take take it to the respective destination safely. So that's what we did in logistics and warehouse. Food, uh, I've been catching, packaging production is another uh, area which we work. We have delivered several solutions for cap inspection, HTP bottle inspection, ROPP cap inspection, ophthalmic cap inspection, bile adapters and liquor caps. In terms of packaging products, we have, we have covered almost all types of packaging products for inspections. And um, finally, track and trace. So these track and trace systems, we have to map them right from their primary packaging to secondary packaging, secondary packaging to tertiary packaging. And uh, these are our, um, what do you say, um, product identification and aggregation systems. So finally, when somebody scans the final product, let us say if a, if a pallet contains several products, in the pallet. So by scanning the pallet code, somebody can drill down what is the smallest unit that is there in a particular pallet. So that's the kind of uh, data that we give back to ERP and MES modules to establish traceability. So these are the applications across different industry segments that we have delivered so far in a in our journey of almost about 10 years. So that's what we have done so far. Then uh, Quickly, I'll run through a, a journey or uh, what we have done so far. So, although I have covered all of them, it just shows basically I have mapped when and how we have done. So, we started in 2007 with uh, consulting. 2007 to 2014, we 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 dealt with a lot of consulting assignments. So that is when we designed the high speed pencil inspection machine for which can almost inspect 20 parts per second. Then we did uh, 
high speed crown inspection system at 2000 parts per minute then we uh, designed a zero touch bottle handling system for a food uh, leading food uh, uh, company and uh, we did caps and bunk system for again a leading public sector company uh, we designed the entire line for them then uh, we, we designed again assembly systems for a battery manufacturer uh, for various of various uh, um, i would say uh, it got deployed across their uh, various vendors so uh, that is what we did uh, between 2007 and 2014 and from 2014 onwards we started delivering turnkey solutions so 2014 we automated bulk 2d scanners for uh, implementing excise track and trace for uh, liquor liquor traceability we have uh, entire state of andhra and telangana running on our scanners since 2014 not in a single breakdown the machines are running flawlessly so so that's uh, what we did when we when we began our turnkey solutions then we indigenized vial lines so vial manufacturers were largely dependent on the imported solutions for uh, their production so we got an opportunity to uh, design uh, a vial production line uh, completely uh, localizing everything so uh, that 2015 is first we delivered a first line in a, for a hyderabad based company now for the wild lines we have our lines deployed pan india so uh, so wild lines is another uh, what do you say strong uh, product line of ours uh, which is growing year on year and we are upgrading the technology and helping customers to um, reduce dependency on imported solutions in 2016 we got our uh, uh, we got recognized as future of india uh, we, this is we were awarded in this future of india and we were also got sme national award for excellence so these are the two recognitions that we got in 2016 same year we indigenized rubber stopper inspection and other faster inspection where uh, we help customers to uh, reduce dependency on imported solutions then 2017 again we got recognized by a for large pharma company for uh, uh, you know for our efforts in indigenizing the product lines 2019 uh, we did a lot of uh, projects for bosch for automating uh, for their component inspection across their various vendors um, so we got recognized for that as well then uh, 2019 onwards we got um, we started delivering solutions to a japanese company for their uh, for their production plants in in thailand and uh, every year i think they give us at least one or two machines for their uh, automating their uh, inspection processes now um, yeah from 2014 is when we started as a solutions i mean as hartwick solutions llp 2021 we we tra- we transformed ourselves to be a private limited company um, basically with an intent of uh, you know inviting Uh, uh with an intent that as a part of our growth growth plan you know we wanted to have uh, investors coming into our company so with that intent we we converted our uh, company to a private limited company and uh, yeah we uh, private limited company and uh, 21 we we did our second version of oil production lines um which was much more sophisticated than the previous ones 2022 we started delivering solutions for e-commerce companies 2023 we did for electronic manufacturing lines robotic label applicators and ai based inspection for brake pads and for a thailand based auto corporate company and um, yeah we got repeat orders for exports also on 23 and 24 we have done pan india implementation of track and trace uh, solutions for a leading public sector company in the lubricant business oil business we did it for uh, dpcl now we are doing for hpcl also and the journey is continuing so uh, i think some of the names are missing here yeah 
So we have technology collaborations with uh, various companies across the world. Basically, we have chosen the best of the components to integrate into our solutions so that our solutions becomes reliable. So we have uh, partnerships with companies like Bastler, Cognix, Bomber, Keynes, uh, Micro Epsilon, uh, Hick Robotics, and MakeMind for vision systems. For robotics, we work with Mitsubishi, Epson, Fano, Yaskawa, and Rolon. For design, we, 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 we use SolidWorks and Solid Edge as our design platform. For software, we use National Instruments LabVIEW as our uh, basic coding platform, and we integrate tools from Cognix and Cognix PD for uh, uh, various uh, vision applications. For controls, we have uh, Panasonic, uh, Advantech, Siemens, uh, SIG, uh, SMC, Schmalls, Delta. So these are all uh, very reputed companies that we have shortlisted to be part of our, uh, to be used for our solutions. Thereby, you know, our solutions becomes uh, very reliable and uh, when customers uh, literally enjoy zero downtime ever since we deploy our systems on the shop floor and hand it over to them. So that is what uh, we have achieved so far. And as far as uh, customers are concerned, this is just a small list of customers that we have captured here. We have Sanofi Pharmaceuticals, SGD Pharmaceuticals, Westmac is Auto Components, Bharat Petroleum for Lubricants, uh, CTEL is an integrator, Zen Pharma is a pharmaceutical company, Dr. Eddy's pharmaceutical companies, Flipkart, Mintra, e-commerce, SNG Pharma, Bosch for auto components, Renata for auto components, Manjushri for packaging materials, Glam Pharmaceuticals again for pharmaceuticals, Teto Argox is for again uh, packaging line or printing automation, Sprites as a for uh, again pharmaceuticals, Volvo for automotive, TBS for automotive, Diageo, Diageo for liquor, Bevco for again e-commerce, Fortune Cross Auto Component in Thailand, Crown Closures, and many more. We have added HPCL this year. Uh, we are adding uh, G Healthcare this year as our customers. We are adding Schneider as our customers this year. So. The journey continues, and uh, so this is just the end of my presentation. So, any questions or anything that you would like to ask for, I'm, I'll be more than happy to answer. Konsa so, area, chora, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> So, uh, see, basically in India, we we are not dealing with volumes. You know, a company based out of China deals with volumes. Mm. So he he specializes in one line. Or any other companies, other other in other country, uh, you know they have uh, advantage of volumes. In India, we literally don't have the advantage of volumes, so we have to diversify. So we have to uh, you know handle diverse range of products mm -hmm. in order in order to keep us going. So that well has done. been our mantra well so far. Well done, Swamprasad. Thank oh, you. Really Thank nice, you, sir. Excellent, super. See, I have a couple Thank of you. questions. It was very inspiring for me. <laughs> yeah. Coming from Bosch, we used to try that a lot, and I think now uh, it has taken shape. Uh, in terms of yeah. the dimensional inspection, what has been the least uh, value that you have been able to check? There's only five micron. Only technical question. Five micron. Five micron. So okay. Five micron. And uh, oh. and have you any time tried any in process uh, activity like for example uh, tracing for in process welding, in process tracing for welding applications? We have a solution now. Uh, we have a solution from uh, MechMind Robotics uh, uh -huh. where we have 3D profile scanners. So the uh -huh. 3D profile scanners can scan the welding seam and, uh -huh. you know, we can we can actually map the geometry of the weld and uh -huh. uh, and actually give you a proper report. Uh, that means it will be a combination of a robo and a, a vision system, is it? That you correct, want, correct, that's what yes. you deliver. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, see, I have multiple Two, two, two or three generic questions. First day is, yeah. off late, there have been a lot of uh, discussion about uh, 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 policing using AI. Okay. okay. So what is your take on that? Where you, you oh. have all these CCTV cameras, right? So using right, the CCTV right. camera and uh, using AI, uh, because that could also be an application for any company. You know, it need not be only a manufacturing company. It uh, can also be True. for a shop, can be for a, a warehouse, 
where uh, you have a CCTV camera and a lot of uh, recording is being done. But yeah. uh, there is no technology to detect any anomaly today. And yeah, if, you to go those, of... if you have to go through those uh, uh, hours and uh, days of videotape, it's really painful. In our apartment also, we got a CCTV recorder. You know, but after right. that, nothing right. much happens. So, Dave, what is your take on some solution? Is there anything possible in that space? Yeah. So, when it comes to AI, um, there are two areas that, uh, you know, um, I would say two distinct areas. Where we work on is uh, 2D images. We work on 2D images or 3D images, three-dimensional images. Uh, with, when it comes to CCTV, it is more to do with video analytics. So video analytics is more to do with gesture recognition, facial recognition, uh, you know. So there are a lot of companies who are uh, actually working in these areas because um, I have, I know a company, a friend of mine who is working on uh, fatigue detection for a, um, you know, this JCB operator, you know, the heavy earth moving operator <clears throat> who is working in the field for under, under uh, uh, you know, uh, strenuous uh, uh, circumstances. Usually they get they get tired and you know sometimes um, the fatigue sets in. So okay. we have a CCTV camera that actually detects uh, the, whether the uh, the operator is active or you know he is getting into some kind of a fatigue or you know some alert system or it alerts the it alerts a supervisor and you know a replacement oh, okay. can be brought in easily. So those okay. those things are those things are being actively tested in the field right now. And there's a Korean company which actually um, does an in-process uh, uh, automation using uh, video analytics. They do uh, defect detection using uh, video analytics, using web camera, interestingly. So that, that company I came across very recently, it's a Korean company called Defect Detect. Defect Detect is a company that is working on uh, uh, using CCTV cameras as a medium and uh, doing defect detection. For policing, uh, uh, yes, and uh, you know because there's lot of lot of feed that needs to be uh, analyzed. So you cannot have people sitting and analyzing these feeds. So um, actually, we can we can train uh, <laughs> the, with sufficient data. We can train the train the AI modules or the deep learning modules to detect such anomalies and raise uh, raise alert well in advance or it can also do uh, some pred predictive analytics also. So there are at least I know three or four companies in, in my known circle who are working in, in these areas. So it is a very much uh, a strong use case for using AI in these areas, I would say. Yeah, I tell you what, in most of, most of the companies in, in the Indian context, the general uh, work culture is to uh, uh, take it easy. Okay, I'm, whether it is... Right or not, I don't know, but that's the way it is. Okay. Very true. Uh, so Very there, true. there, if suppose through CCTV we can monitor it, and the supervisor cannot continuously stand looking at what's happening. Right. And the operator, it's not that somebody is telling that he has to work eight hours without going to a toilet. You know. So the other day I read an article that in Amazon they are not allowing people to go to toilet. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. Came up. <laughs> yeah. So it's not that. Yeah. Even if the guy works for two hours, see what I have seen is, if you work for two hours. Everybody together as one team in a very right. focused yeah. manner. Then you take a break. Then again work Absolutely. for two hours. You know? And that that is a culture which is common in uh, West, in uh, Germany or in China uh, or in Japan. Right. Where productivity levels are very, very high. In India, it is right. not the case. Do you think uh, such CCTV solutions can be used to uh, at least alert, at least uh, record, <clears throat> detect the anomalies so that there could be a discussion and all that can carry because moment you put a camera, then there will be a problem. Union issue will come. Yes, so CCTV it does. camera it anyway does. is there. You know, can we use that feed to do something? It can be done. It it can be done. There's a okay. Uh, it only okay. it on, it is only that you know uh, we have to study the existing CCTV cameras. Does have does it have the required coverage? That's that's about okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, visual. Uh, and the other, other question which I had was, see, if you look at all these companies, this is something which I've been doing with many comp many of my clients. I have an app which is used for asset maintenance. Like every 15 days, you need to take a photo and see if the photo is good or not. And that photo is then sent to customer. Do you have any solution readily available where 
you can compare that photo with the previous one and then define where identify where all there will be a difference what all changes have happened is there any ha ah, what one of the standard algorithms that we use for uh, for defect detection is something called as a pattern matching okay it's a standard standard algorithm where we compare the uh, present uh, image with a with a standard image okay and we do subtraction and hmm. all those different different algorithms we use and we we highlight the areas where there has been an anomaly okay 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 okay, okay. so maybe we that's, that's standard algorithm that... we'll touch base offline and then we can possibly uh, discuss on that so after sure. you have gone to that uh, company okay that is the first yeah, yeah, yeah. then is right. uh, the the next one which i had the question was see this vision systems static vision systems inspection using 2d whatever it is are there any consumer applications not in industry at home do you think something can be done which can then be sold as a kind of a black box where you have a camera and then it will give you a red light or a green light in case it is bad or good are there any applications like that <clears throat> honestly i haven't thought about it <laughs> so now that you have put this thought in my mind i think i have to uh, uh, have to start looking at it uh, but commercial applications are not for the residential something i thought before something that i thought that we should do is uh, um, you know counting applications So you, you go to any hardware store or any uh, you know uh, of these hardware stores counting you know is something you know people buy uh, whether a set of screws you know somebody goes and buys screws a carpenter goes by screws he buys by numbers he buys by uh, screws or nails or whatever these small small components usually um, they just dispense it by counting just there's a lot of time that goes in uh, you know counting these products so uh, one product that i have in mind is you know have a very a table top system where they, you just throw set of components on the on the glass and it just show, it immediately shows up what is the number you know then we have we have that sir we have that in uh, when we count uh, uh, crystals for embroidery <clears throat> ah see uh, okay I okay <clears throat> oh, you is it true you know uh, yeah yeah is the tray just to fix it, everything falls into that you know how much quantity 144 one gross is there exactly 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 so that is no, something that which i think is based on weight right uh, amarji no 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 it you know it, there are two things either you can go by weight also sometimes when the, you know the accurate weight uh, because ai uh, maintains the weight of a product uh, exactly this is going to be 10 grams or 15 grams but when it comes to artificial stones uh, crystals what we use for our embroidery there you know we have a uh, tray is a hand tray where you just uh, put the product on that and just shake it off 144 the rest will come out so you know exact numbers there in there yeah that is a sensor based counting that would be a sensor based counting i think but vision based is something which i am looking using using a standard webcam or standard yeah uh, yeah yeah you know? yeah that's that's uh, yeah. something that will be very interesting yeah that will be an interesting product to work on that is what i am yes, yes. running in my mind so absolutely yeah super now is, anybody else have any further questions apart from amarji and me उंटिंग Is okay. it like it? It is like vision counting in video, not in stationary photo. Or maybe it can be photographed and then counted. Maybe you can, Jam Prasad can think on that. There is a requirement in fisheries. Fisheries, okay, okay. Yeah. Seeds, uh, seeds for fisheries. Huh? Seeds for yeah, fish, seeds fish for feeding. Fish. Feeding, feeding the fish. No, 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 no. Not ah. feeding fish. It is. Uh, uh, it is actually a fish, a small fish. Oh, which okay. is uh, given given to fisheries for further growing oh right. okay 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 so tadpoles okay. basically you're talking about very tadpoles. very small uh, uh, like 1 mm uh, 2 mm size uh, but they're always floating you know they're, they're always they're in all, motion ah, yeah that is that is the challenge in, that is the challenge that's the challenge they're always in yeah. motion yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so you have to got find it, out it. with motion yeah, that is a challenge that industry have uh, looking for this kind of a solution 
Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. I I found actually in China hmm. some company doing that uh, system. Uh, yeah. But maybe uh, I can take your assistance to evaluate that uh, solution because uh, vision sensing is not my subject. I am into packaging. So uh, okay, what, after what packaging I packaging do? Uh, I do all kind of packaging machines. Uh, oh, you do the packaging it, machines, okay, okay? Yeah, packaging machines like primary packaging. Uh, powders, granules, uh, tablets, palm fill and seal, blister machines, FFS machines. Yeah, yeah, palm fill seal. Palm fill seal is our major uh, focus area. Okay. okay. So we can wow. connect, sir. I, I would like to love to connect with you. Definitely, definitely, sir. That that will be a direct collaboration, right? Your machine you can offer with the vision system, so that. Uh, in fa- in, the... Yeah, yeah. In in fact, I got one vision uh, query recently. I was work. Oh. I am working on a project with Mylan Laboratories. Right. So they uh, they have asked to integrate uh, uh, label inspection, the printed, no, the MRP batch number. Correct, correct. That correct. inspection that is... system, what you mentioned. So they have yeah. asked us to integrate along with our machine. So I was uh, I, I was just checking for who is the supplier for this. So here I am. <laughs> yes, yes, I just connected. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will talk to you. I will talk to you on that. Thank you, Shiv. Thank you, Pratap. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Yeah, that's an over to you, please. You are uh, question. Thank you, Dinakar, sir. Uh, your effort, uh, we are connected. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, that's an over to you. Please go on. Yeah, yeah. I think Kena Sagar raised uh, no, uh, first. Uh, so, no, no, Sagar, will you go or shall I go? No, Sagar is part of the host. Therefore, I'll give you the chance. Please go on. Please go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, first of all, you know, uh, congratulations, sir, uh, for all your achievements. Uh, uh, you, so, like when I was seeing your uh, all the PCB components and all, so I know in a few companies uh, like uh, AT and S, and then uh-huh. IQ in uh, Tamil Nadu, and then, and then uh, so assemblies, I know few more uh, companies. So if you are not working with them, uh, probably you know we can connect and uh, I can give some contacts over there. We we are not currently working with AT and S, so. It is very much open. We are open to discussions. Then other Chennai companies who you list, you told us uh, we are IQ. not work with them. Yeah, IQ no. Okay. We have had some some discussions going on with Sanmina. Uh, we have got, we have got some discussions going on with uh, uh, I would say uh, 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 the Taiwanese company use uh, Flextronics. Uh, oh, Flextronics. We have, we, yeah. yeah, we are these and two are the active. Been, uh, San, uh, this thing is it's in Gujarat, right? No, uh, there is also in, in they have a facility even in uh, the Nokia facility. Is, I think is, is taken over by Sanmina. That is what I heard. So Nokia okay. facility in Chennai is is Sanmina right now. So okay. yeah, some discussions Gujarat going. Also, on. there is one more. Uh, you know, few uh, few are there. Okay. So I can give my connection over there. That is one thing. The second yeah. one is uh, <laughs> so if you know the answer. Uh, uh, in the Mysore Express way, like, uh, so there are, you know, like a lot of uh, cameras. So I want to know, you know, at what best, you know, they, you know, they can sense how many meters or kilometers. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I'm, my expertise is not in video analytics. So, um, okay. so that is something which I would, uh, you know, I would not be very accurate in giving you the information. Uh, but, um, uh, in terms of 2D image processing and other things, we can say we have, we have a, we can grab an image as low as uh, you know 10 milliseconds and 20 milliseconds. You know, so if you're doing component inspection at as fast as 40, 4,000 per minute, 4,000 components per minute. So these are pretty fast cameras that we use. So as as low as only image grabbing time, we have as less as 10 milliseconds. So that's the time you know we use for 2D imaging. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Darshan. Yes. Sagar, yeah, over you. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Sham. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Sagar. Yeah, Sham. This is um, see uh, in discrete manufacturing and uh, a little what uh, Dinakar was talking about in process inspection. Okay. In yeah. Discrete manufacturing. So, for example, there are manufacturing um, hmm, uh, processes like casting, forging, sheet metal, all this. Uh, right. We will be able to implement, uh, right? Uh, not just it can product. usually. Uh, in process is also it, it in process inspection is also we are doing. Uh, 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 if 
I would say the thumb rule would be if uh, if the production speeds are, let us say, more than uh, 60 per minute or, mm. or even 100 per minute, then mm. uh, humanly it is not possible to uh, inspect them. So that mm. is where uh, automation is a good case. If it is okay. less than, if the production speeds are less than 100 per minute, then mm. uh, human inspection is uh, will uh, you know will be more economical than the automated visual inspection. Okay, Sham, there is one particular case study uh, case yeah. where uh -huh. see, I understand that you have got a two D and a three D imaging where the discrete manufacturing is there, and I saw that entire list uh, four list of yours. Okay, right. but now there are few processes like casting where we have got mm -hmm. molds. Okay, and mm -hmm. even before pouring, just the thought came. Mm -hmm. Do you have hmm. the capability where you can actually do a scanning of it and then if there are any uh, inclusions, if there are any pores, will that be able to, will we be able to detect those? Okay. Um, just to draw a distinction, we are, we are, we are doing 2D and 3D imaging, which, which are not non-penetrative in nature. So, yeah. um, so if, if the, if the, if, if something is visible, then we can, we can detect something not visible then we cannot detect okay. so okay, so in case of molds where you are pouring pouring the uh, molten into the into the mold most of the most of the times it would be hidden from the view so uh, there we cannot do but probably i think there are some companies doing x ray vision so x ray is a good uh, bet for that <clears throat> So you don't have a solution with X-ray, right? No, uh, we don't have a solution with X-ray. Uh, why we are not working with X-ray is uh, we have to adhere to a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, norms, uh, you know, regulatory compliances, even to, to even to start working on an X-ray. So, uh, so that is something which uh, we have planned probably two or three years down the line, there are applications. Uh, but the regulatory, uh, the kind of manufacturing facility we have to have in order to uh, start working on X-ray itself calls for a lot of investments. Done. So we are not, uh, we are not working Fair on X-ray as of now. Fair so Sham, my um, uh, invitation is still waiting. I'm waiting for you to, the Thursday has not yet come where I had okay. invited you. <laughs> I mean, right. fact, uh, if you are ready, we can go tomorrow. Uh, uh, tomorrow, no. I, I I will plan for next Thursday, uh, Sagar. Uh, I will. I'm blocking it as of now itself. So next that is okay. Thursday is, is I think 18th. Done. Okay. Sorry, 11th. Huh? 11th. Sir. Okay. The invitation is for what, Sagar? I didn't understand. Uh, an opportunity. Uh, one of the customers uh, where discrete uh, inspection is required. Automation hmm. for discrete inspection. A client. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Now, see, uh, what uh, I have come to know is the following. Uh, I don't know whether you have heard of this company called as uh, Fuzzy dot D. Sham. No, I haven't heard of them. Yeah, maybe you can search it out. Fuzzy dot D. Yeah. They have a product called as Qualicision. Qualicision. Okay. Qualicision. Qualicision. It's a German company. Okay. Okay. And, okay. Uh, that is used in most, almost all the automotive companies in uh, Europe for mm -hmm. uh, online inspection. For example, Continental Tires uses it for checking the tire quality. Oh, uh, okay. And and this was done maybe about 25 years back when AI was not, or I would say the concept of uh, uh, machine learning, AI was not so popular as it is today. Uh, because those days, uh, these guys... Uh, uh, used to talk about what is called as fuzzy logic. Mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, fuzzy logic, then Boolean algebra, then uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Z maximization function, all the combination of all these things, he developed this uh, product. Uh, I don't know whether you have tried to approach any of these uh, companies for uh, inline inspection. See, because the problem is, if you look at uh, whether it is discrete manufacturing or uh, continuous manufacturing or continuous production or mass production, uh, the uh, there are two challenges. First is the visual inspection is not very uh, uh, reliable because uh, mm. man is uh, prone to make a mistake. And the second is it takes time, you know. Right. And right. the possibility of getting people to do that also is not very high. 
Uh, we had tried uh, one uh, such solution with SGS. SGS is a company in uh, Kanakpura Road. They do mm. uh, decals. Yes, uh, I have heard of this company. Yeah, yeah. Decals, and then there uh, they have got lot of inspection people. Okay. Right. They have almost about uh, the 20 25 percent of their workforce is only inspection. Correct. If that can be automated, it will be a big uh, uh, benefit. And uh, so we, the, yeah, please go on. Yeah, we did have a conversation with SGS, I think, two years ago. Um, we spoke to the owner, I forgot his name. Uh, owner or Baligar, possibly. So that's actually Baligar. Not Baligar. Um, a Christian name. I, I keep uh, forgetting one minute. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. No, yeah. no problem. So, so uh, again, unfortunately, cost was an issue. Because it cost is, not, is an issue, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not, uh, so, so there, uh, what, what kind of a solution? Because your company's partners are all very big names everywhere, right? So, yeah, yeah. one side, you've got an integration solution. And what are your plans to make sure that you try to get the cost at a lower level so that we can become competitive in the Indian market? Because this See, affordability is a big issue, you know, for such systems. Understood. Yeah, that, that has been a challenge. That has been a challenge with us for a, for a very long time. Ever since we started working in this field, we saw, we saw an opportunity since 2007 and we have been, uh, we, are left, we are not stopped working, although we had our lulls in the field and, you know, people were not buying because of the costs and other things. Because most of the time, it, the, the costs were always uh, privately expensive because we were largely dependent on, uh, for the entire solution, uh, from the West and from from Japan or something like that. Then off late, you know, we have started customizing the algorithms. We have started buying only the cameras from uh, from the reliable sources and the software is being done uh, in-house. So predominantly the cost, if you look at it, there's there's been a considerable reduction in the cost that uh, that has uh, that the industry is, has seen. So that is the reason, you know, I've been able to sell it to even MSME customers, even a small cap manufacturer who sells a cap at 5 paise also has my system running as as big as a you know a company like Bosch who sells for uh, several thousands of pieces or something like that so um, technology is be becoming affordable by the day um, whoever has got volumes you know uh, it's like a cap manufacturer although he's selling a cap for 20 paise or 15 20 25 paise per per cap but he's producing like 600 caps per minute, 700 caps per minute. But humanly, it is not possible to inspect that. So we we tried, we we forced one customer to try one one line. And today he has deployed 70, 20 lines across his manufacturing facility. And he has been able to increase the customers because a customer came and saw and says, so oh, you have vision inspection system in place. Okay, I'm giving you the entire order. You know, mm. that's the kind of uh, uh, thing, confidence that, you know, uh, they are able to build with the customer. So now he has increased his export orders. He has increased his, uh, uh, you know. Uh, so we have worked with, uh, uh, you know, MSME customers as well. And we have got good case studies where they are, we are also growing along with them, you know. So those kind of see, things may, are also... May I request one thing, see in the yeah. in our startup ignition team, the idea is to really talk about trying to get people to start up companies and then uh, support the ecosystem, etc. So in your yeah. case, since in the vision systems, even today, most of the components are all imported. Would it be possible yeah. for you to make a list of all those components which you would have liked if it is indigenized? You know? And then those components, we can at least post it in the SIT group and also we can request our members to talk to colleges, universities, Say that this is the place where the market is there. You know, if okay. any company wants to start up, then we can do it and export it from India. Your uh, oh, cameras yeah. which you spoke about, they are pretty crazy, yeah. you know. Minimum, it starts with one and a half lakh rupees. Question correct, is, correct. can we do the same camera at maybe 20, 25,000 rupees in India? Because if you look at uh, the uh, it, 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 majority of that cost would be R&D cost. I don't think it would be the uh, uh, mechanical component cost. And also right. today, R and D is not something which is so uh, difficult. Those companies also do patent research. We will do also patent research and find out how to do it. You right. know, can you make a list of that and send it across? Do, do you think it will be possible? At least whatever way we can support, we can support in the SIT community. I'll definitely put put my wish list across. 
and uh, definitely i see optics lenses lenses is a big field china is playing a big big Excellent. time in lenses Excellent. lens lenses optics is a big big again big big uh, subject uh, led industrial led lighting for for optical inspection is another other one few companies are coming up but not uh, matching with the uh, with the speed and the, and the quality uh, standards but yeah that's another opportunity what do you mean speed and quality standards for industrial led uh when we, when it comes to uh, visual inspection illumination is very very important okay illuminating a component becomes very important because we have to maintain consistent uh, lighting conditions across the uh, you know uh, ac- across 24 hours where you have ambient lighting conditions always varying so we uh, to in order to see that the inspection is always consistent the lighting conditions have to be 100% consistent so there there should not be any reduction in the lux level there should not be any variation in the lux level so you get so so from outside is it it's all important then for you led lights are important i am i am totally dependent on imported lights see tomorrow i am going to a company called as eta max have you heard of that company eta max huh? no this is in uh, uh, ahmednagar near uh, pune i see so uh-huh. but they they want to really grow okay mm. so i will understand this if you can send me some requirement maybe i can talk to them and find no, out i'll, I'll send you a list of list of list of led lights that i am currently importing sure, that, that, i'll yeah. ask my i'll ask my product procurement guy to give me the list of lights that we are importing i'll share so it with you more than today only yeah same <laughs> day today only because i need to guy no, yeah. to him tomorrow no i'm all, we are already <laughs> making that list we are already making that list because the government is asking for bis certification because okay. now they are very hard on imports on on from china so they are telling okay. you yeah. either you get it certified for bis or you know we will not allow you to import so okay. those anyway okay. those those conditions are also are uh, you know forcing us to innovate so uh, so please send the request tomorrow i talk to yeah. them if it works out i'll connect you to them so yeah. otherwise yeah. anybody else have, have any question yeah i have, i have a couple of questions Shamsi. please go on you are the yeah. last man so you can uh, no, ask no, no, question no. and then come to <laughs> Go on, Amit. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, Dinka. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. So, there are two areas uh, which I think uh, focus should be given. You, have you tried with the garment industry? The garment no, industry, sir, garment. spinning industry. No, we have spinning industry. Yeah, we, we have visited that. There are a couple of companies who are already working in the garment sector. Uh, they are based uh, out of Coimbatore. They are based out of Coimbatore yeah. and catering to uh, the needs of fabric inspection and other things. so actually mm-hmm. we didn't want to uh, enter that field because they were already there for a very long time so uh, mm-hmm. you know we didn't want yeah, to disturb yeah. so, yeah, them spinning spinning area sir spinning area i don't know about It's spinning huge. areas but aha uh-huh. okay spinning area is a good uh, market for you and uh, okay. i can connect you to my cousin in coimbatore they are quite big there and they are based uh-huh. in coimbatore across india they have they have their own unit in nagpur also So, so for, for spinning, what is the use case, yeah, sir? For, for spinning, what is the use case? Quality again for quality, sir. Quality controls. Okay. Okay. No, but Sometimes, I don't know whether you know, today check any do any inspection there, uh, Amarji. Yeah, yeah, there is. There is. Hundred percent. They may not no, be doing. No, there is. No, there is. No, there is. No, there is. See, that is why we are unable to match with international quality students. Why? I no. import a lot of fabric. I know. I import a lot of fabric. I know why we are still. we have to talk to them 100 times this is what in spite of all that uh, if you go to surat you'll understand they'll tell you yes ho jayega sir ho jayega surat aapki kharab ho jayegi that is that's why it is known as surat <laughs> the other area which i uh, wanted to connect you with was the, the manufacturing of wells i have my one of my relatives who have their plant in pondicherry and bangalore also natural natural capsules they natural capsules wells. yes they are my relatives Oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mundra. What's his name? Mundra. Uh, Mundra. Sunil Mundra. Yes. Sunil Mundra. They are related yes, to. Yes, yes. Yeah, they are, oh, they are related to. Oh, I see. Us. I know oh, them fantastic. very well. Fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. And the strides. Okay. You spoke about strides. Strides. The, the global CEO is also uh, my uh, like my son is in US now. Wow. Work okay. With strides. Yes. Yes. I think great, it's a wonderful great. connect you have built. A very yeah. interesting uh, topic you shared today, Shamsa. Uh, yeah. Machine vision. I say we are. looking at uh, a vision document every time we talk about vision document uh, yes. i think so it's well documented uh, thought that you shared with all of us today 
uh, today's world, I am from a different line. I'm not a technically uh, savvy person, you know. Even to send my emails, I have to send my, tell my son or my daughter, now, today, the day when I began, it was not there. We didn't have even faxes. So it's, it, we used to go to the post office and do it. I'm into a very specific line. I do American bridal. So I've, I've seen uh, the need of uh, collective uh, uh, production. You know, you, I have traveled and in my line I've seen, you have to give perfection. Which we people say chalta in India, you know, everything is chalta right. hai, chalta hai. We have to overcome this attitude to be successful. And I think so, you fit correct, into that correct. role very well. That's where, what yes, you are so, 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 so far, one thing I, I, I missed sharing with all of you guys is, uh, till date, we have not failed in any project. So, that is that is one thing. Yeah. Number two is very the good. machines that, uh, the machines that we have deployed so far, you know, they have not gone down. Mm -hmm. There's not, they have not, there's not a single breakdown that has happened on our machines. I mean, it's counterproductive. I don't get a spares. I, I don't get uh, order for spares and other things, but that is the need of that machine because Absolutely. when somebody replaces a visual manual inspection system with the with vision inspection system, the, the vision system, no matter what, should, should, it should not stop. You know, he can have stop. breakdowns in other machines, but the vision inspection machines should not stop. So that is the level of this uh, is, yeah, the efficiency you have. But what yeah. thing I want to do? You have a real real time management also with this. Um, so far, there was no need for a real time management. But of late, with mm -hmm. IoT and connectivity, people are demanding for exchanging the inspection data and other things with uh, uh, with the ERP systems and other things, which we are working on. I think we are we will be there uh, very shortly. My best wishes to you. I think so. You have shared a, a wonderful thought today that how we could enhance our productivity with quality. I think yes, so. Sir. We should all uh, uh, follow this uh, path because success will lie there, sir. From my experience, I'm telling you, being into the garment industry, a very specialized uh, field. I learned uh, in the 90s, 96, when I first time when I saw in New York, B and H. B and H is a very famous uh, photography store in New York. Mm -hmm. And there, I saw what was automation. I did understand when I bought a camera. It took the moment I could go down to pay my bill, it told me it's already ready, sir. You can pick it up. And when I saw at this, uh, those uh, display areas, it just was something was moving. I told, What is moving here? I was very crazy to look what is happening. I told, Where have we given? Who's taken the delivery? No, sir, it's there only at the table. You can pick it up. So it was so automated that the moment you had finalized a product, you would on a click of what it will pick up from the warehouse and it would come down at. Elway, this one, what do you call that? Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. It come to the uh, delivery channel. So I thought how uh, systems have changed. Uh, I saw this in the night. I'd be in 2000, to be uh, precise with. I saw this with my son. My son was amazing. He was amazed, sir, what technology that it is. This is, I told we have to learn this. I think so what you are doing today is that. So wonderfully shared, you, sir. Uh, sir. Definitely would like to connect with you. Uh, my son doesn't uh, has definitely a good connects with the automation automotive industry in Osur. Uh, so definitely would love to connect with you and share. This is what I feel. We should exchange our ideas. Well said by Dinkar. What kind of product you need? India has talent today. India has time. India has treasure. So yes. all these three T's, uh, people like you should uh, explore it with uh, our partners with SIT. This is my request to you, sir. Thank you so Definitely. much. For your thank you so Thank much, you. Amarji. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Sham. It was really a thank very you. inspiring uh, talk for me because of the mechanical engineering background. Very, very outstanding. And I'm sure we will have more occasions. Satvik Vichar. Satvik Vichar. Aaj ke din Satvik Vichar diya. Satvik. Very good. Super. Super. Uh, <laughs> anybody else wants <laughs> to stare at the where? camera? I take a picture. Yeah, you are, you are in Bangalore, uh, Sham, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm in Bangalore. Aranagar. Where, sir? Aranagar. Aran, oh, Aran. Oh, Aran. Aran. We are not far away, sir. I'm in the ah. second, second stage. <laughs> we'll visit, okay, sir. Okay. Thank yeah, you so much. Perfect. And then uh, so let's much, catch up Good again uh, next week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Wonderful session. Bye, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir.